Today in Honey 4, we're going to re-coat alloy on a rusty wheel. Right, what we need to do is grab a cog wheel and then we change the teeth to flat and the inlay to spokes and then we change the number of spokes to eight. And then we alt and extrude. And then on the extrude, we go to the shape and go to spline and just add a little bit of depth onto that. Right, let's go back to cog wheel. Let's push out the outer rim. And let's play with, bring the radius up. Let's bring the outer rims out. Let's push that. And then let's add a little bit of contour. And let's just increase the radius of the inner hub. Right, so that's our basic shape for our wheel. And now we're going to remesh this to get our geometry. So put it in the remesher, change the remesher to 400%. Change the display to ground shading blinds. And now we right click and connect objects and delete and rename that rim. We now right click, choose other tags, vertex map. We click on that and use fields and we drop a spherical field into there and then we bring it so to the front push it over to the side and then we hit a keyframe at zero we bring it forward to 10 and then we bring the spherical field back in so it touches and we hit another keyframe we go on to freeze and we change the mode to grow and we change the effect strength to 20. We now need a volume builder and we drop the rim into the builder and change the box size to one. And then we add a smooth and we also add a dilate and a road and we change that offset to two. Okay, we now need a group field that we drop under the volume builder. And in the group field, we add the vertex map and then under the builder, we put the group field as creation space objects below. So now we need to grab the mesher and put the builder into the mesher. So let's put the group field below and let's change it from union to intersect. So we just get the group field appearing on there. And then we need to drop the smoothing and the dilator road above it so this becomes a smoother blob and then we need to add the materials so let's go and search for metal and we need to add a steel rust and a silver the steel rust on the rim and the silver on the mesher and let's add in a physical sky Let's just play that a little bit longer just so you can see this coating grow onto here. Look. And if we want a little bit more, if we want this to be even more random, we could go to our volume, sorry, our vertex map, and we could add in here a random field. And we can change the blending type to overlay. And then if we play, we will get more random pieces look appearing as it's coating. Okay. That's it, that's your four minute quick tip, coating a rusty scratched alloy with new alloy coating. Look out for another fun in four in a few days time. My name is Mike, Visual Animation, take care, goodbye for now.